Hello everyone, what's up? Jwisp here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips and tricks to help you out as a new player in Outward. Alright, so my first tip is a pretty general one, but it is to learn to use the map and to be a better navigator. I know this sounds uh, pretty general and kind of like a duh point, but oftentimes a lot of games now will kind of just give you a marker on the map telling you where you are. But in this game, it doesn't. You just have a map, and you have to try to figure out where the heck you are. Um, and another point to help you kind of figure out where you're going is to always be looking at the compass. And also, make sure you take advantage of putting points on your map. I know I didn't do this when I first started playing, but it's very helpful. For example, I just came out of the main city that you start in. So I might put, you know, a blue point here to mark that, hey, you know, this is my starting point. You know, this is where I started. And then maybe as I walk and come across maybe some sort of landmark or obstacle, I'll mark it in the map. So I know, you know, hey, I'm here. And another thing is that the map is very accurate of the world itself. So if you find yourself lost or struggling to find out where the heck, oh, here's a chest, <laughs> struggling to find out where the heck you need to go, uh, you know, look at your surroundings and try to say like, okay, you know, there's a big rock near me. So, you know, if there's a big rock on the map, that's probably where. Or, you know, if you see a river with a rock in it, then you're probably around here. I think it's pretty helpful. I would definitely take advantage of map markers. And make, make sure that you are constantly looking at the compass. Not that you have to stare at it, but you're checking it every few seconds to kind of say, okay, you know, I started here. I'm going northeast. So if I keep going, I'm going to end up in this direction. So my second tip will help you get some good items to start off as a new player. So right over here across the lighthouse, if you go into a town hall, there's actually a chest in here that you can loot that has some pretty good stuff you can actually get. Uh, and besides this chest, I would make sure as a new player to loot, actually I went the wrong way, <laughs> to make sure you loot everything you can and just, you know, if it's trash, just sell it to a vendor. Because money is very hard to come by, especially when you're starting the game. But, you know, even if something's only worth one or two silver pieces, that can add up. Especially when you only need to make 150 to save your lighthouse. But here we go. We have this chest. It's currently empty. But for me, I got this discipline potion. I got some soothing tea. And I also got some blue light clothes, which will be very useful uh, for traveling the deserts. I, I get that I don't look, I don't look very beautiful in them. But they're definitely useful. Those are some good items. I have also tried that chest on multiple characters. And I don't know if drops are completely random. But every time I've opened it on a different character, I have gotten different stuff. So I hope that you guys get some good stuff from that chest. So my next tip kind of applies to the entire game as a whole. But my tip is to not get cocky. It's very easy to win this game. But <laughs> you have to try not to. It happens to me all the time. And what I mean by that is I'll give you a few examples. For example, if you're in a fight and you've landed, you know, you've gotten a few hits in a row, you should probably back off. I wouldn't try to keep hitting the enemy. More likely than not, even if you've landed a few successful hits and you're about to knock the enemy down, the enemy's probably going to bite back at you. And I, there, I've been in so many situations where I've landed a few hits, I've gotten cocky, I've been like, you know what, I'm gonna keep hitting them, they're almost dead, and I've ended up killing myself because I wasn't careful, so you should definitely be careful. And another example of not being cocky is if you are out traveling the wilderness, just doing whatever, whether you're hunting for loot or trying to find some, you know, specific town or region or whatever, don't get cocky, and by that, I mean, you know, if your health is low, if your stamina is low, take a nap, you know, try to find some rest, try to eat some food. A lot of the time I've been like, oh, you know, my max stamina is like halfway, my max health is halfway, you know, I'll be fine. Odds are, <laughs> no, you won't be. It would be beneficial for you to find a place to sleep and to sit down and get some food. Uh, if you guys don't know where to sleep in the wild, pretty much, if you guys go anywhere where there's those little patches of butterflies floating about, if you place your bed under that, you will have a 0% chance of getting ambushed. To the best of my knowledge, that's how it's always turned out. I could be wrong, and it might be different in higher level areas, but from all the places I've experienced, if you place your bed 
under those butterflies, you should be okay to take a nap. So my next tip will help you guys pay off your lighthouse easily or possibly get something better, but this is a way to get a tribal favor really easy really early on. I know a lot of people already know about this because it's all over the place, but in case you don't know about it or need a refresher, I'll, I'll show you how. So you have to go into the storage here. It's, you know, right in the main city. And just keep going straight. Keep going down. There's not too much good loot, so there's nothing you really have to miss. If you keep going this way, uh, in this cave, there are two troglobites you have to fight. They're not too hard. You should, you know, be able to defeat them with ease. And then if you just keep walking down here, there will be a section of the cave that will actually take you right here um, outside into the wilderness. <clears throat> and in the wilderness, there's a dude sitting on the beach. Now, what you actually need to do this, you actually need to lose an item, but it's not an amazing item or a rare item or anything like that. But you need to give up one of your bandages. So it's not anything bad, but pretty much there's this wounded dude on the beach, right? And if you give him a bandage, he will give you a tribal favor. But you have to make sure not to die because on this beach, there are these crab praying mantis looking things over there, as you can see in the distance, that pretty much shoot balls of lightning out of their claws. But this man, <clears throat> I just don't want to get too close, will be sitting right in front of this rock and you can talk to him and you can offer to give him a bandage and in return, he will give you a tribal favor. This is what it looks like. I personally didn't use it. Um, I actually lost my lighthouse because while trying to save that man, I actually died from one of those things. And since I died, it added like another four days to my game, which in turn caused me to lose my lighthouse. So now I have a tribal favor, you know, just for whatever. It's not only good for just that city though. A tribal favor is actually good for anyone in the blue chamber. So when you're choosing your faction, you have three options. And if you go with Risa, she will actually take you to the blue chamber. So now you have a tribal favor for her to use. So regardless, even if you don't use it to pay off your lighthouse, uh, it's still very useful. <clears throat> and another tip is that if you do end up losing your lighthouse, you can buy it back later. After you talk to Risa, you should be able to talk to a guard. And if you pay him 300 silver, you can get your lighthouse back. Now, yeah, that sucks because that's double the price you would have had to pay. But also, if you come back later in the game, 300 silver isn't too bad of a price. It's definitely a decent amount of money, but it's not some crazy surreal amount of money like it is in the beginning of the game. So my final tip for all you guys today is another general one, but it is to choose wisely. In this game, it has a quick save mechanic where pretty much every decision... Decision... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so my final tip is a pretty general one, but that is to choose wisely. In this game, every decision that you make is final. There's no going back to another save or another time. The only way to undo that decision is to delete your character and make a new one. And as scary as that might seem to some of you, especially if you're a young kid like me where everything's handed to you in a game, it's really not. Yes, some decisions are bad. For example, me losing my lighthouse. But usually, sometimes in this game, if you make a poor decision, there is a way eventually to fix it, make it right, you know, make things better. Not always though. Sometimes you're kind of stuck with your choice and you're pretty screwed. You gotta, you know, figure things out for yourself. Hopefully, you know, as long as you read your options on what you can do, and as long as you actually read through dialogue, pay attention to the story, you should be good. There's a lot of choices to make in the game, but none that will, you know, really make or break your playing experience, even if you make the wrong choice or a poor choice. Honestly, all it'll do is spice up your game. But regardless, I hope all those tips can help you guys out starting outward. I know this is a really hard game to get into, especially if you're someone like me, where you're a little bit younger than a lot of the people playing this because this game's you know an old school rpg uh it really appeals to the people that were playing games in the early 2000s late 90s uh whereas my generation you know we grew up playing skyrim as our rpg which i love skyrim but it's definitely a lot easier than this game but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe this is jay wisp and i will see you guys in the next one